This is the heroic and tragic story of the life of Grace Darling. Born in Bamborough in 1815, her name would soon be known across the world. She loved island life out at sea on the farms. Her father William was the lighthouse keeper on Longstone Rock. The whole family were always busy at work and play at Longstone Lighthouse. Sailors in passing ships would often wave to the girl in the lighthouse. In 1838, a steamship called the Four Fisher set out from Hull to Dundee. When the ship's boilers stopped working, arguments started between the passengers and the captain. The captain ignores the warning signs and sails directly into a storm. Then, tragedy strikes. The ship hits Harker Rock and breaks apart. A few survivors jumped overboard onto the same rocks that destroyed the ship. From the lighthouse, Grace spots some survivors through the telescope. Grace persuades her father to attempt to rescue. Together, they battle against the waves. At Harker Rock, her father helps the stricken survivors as Grace handles the boat. Meanwhile, Mr. Smeddle from Bamborough Castle spots the wreck, then rides to sea houses to sound the alarm. The lifeboatmen of sea houses also courageously risked their lives that day. The reports of her bravery were soon printed in newspapers across the land. Grace, now famous, is asked to sign her name many times. A circus owner tries to trick her into appearing in his show. She quickly discovers the truth and declines the offer. William and Grace receive bravery medals from the Duke of Northumberland at Annick Castle. They were shocked and surprised to find the huge crowd of well-wishers as they left the castle gates. Grace is overwhelmed with letters, gifts and money. Even Queen Victoria sends her 50 pounds. Many visitors come by sea to meet her, and various artists capture her likeness on canvas. She had many admirers, but one in particular stood out from the crowd. Hounded wherever she goes, gripped by terror, she lives in a nightmare of staring eyes. With her health now failing, Grace is sent to the tranquility and clear air of the Cheviot Hills. Sadly, Grace did not recover. She died in Bamborough in 1842. She was only 26. From lighthouse keeper's daughter to worldwide celebrity, her short life inspired future generations, the legacy that endures to this day.